Good morning and welcome as we read a psalm a day throughout the book of Psalms. I'm Pastor Brian and today we are on Psalm 140. As we read through this psalm today together, I'll be reading from the Common English Bible Translation. I invite you to read in whatever translation you find the most helpful for you. So let's read Psalm 140. Rescue me from evil people, Lord. Guard me from violent people who plot evil things in their hearts, who pick fights every single day. They sharpen their tongues like a snake's. Spider poison is on their lips. Protect me from the power of the wicked, Lord. Guard me from violent people who plot to trip me up. Arrogant people have laid a trap for me with ropes. They've spread out a net alongside the road. They've set snares for me. I tell the Lord, you are my God. Listen to my request for mercy, Lord. My Lord God, my strong saving help, you've protected my head on the day of battle. Lord, don't give the wicked what they want. Don't allow their plans to succeed, or they'll exalt themselves even more. Let the heads of the people surrounding me be covered with the trouble of their own lips caused. Let burning coals fall on them. Let them fall into deep pits and never get out again. Let no slanderer be safe in the land. Let calamity hunt down violent people, and quickly. I know that the Lord will take up the case of the poor, and he will do what is right for the needy. Yes, the righteous will give thanks to your name, and those who do right will live in your presence. And that's the end of Psalm 140 for today. You know, as I was looking at this psalm, reading it with you just now, one of the things that really uh, stuck out to me was just the end part. And I know I've talked about this before in other psalms, but I feel like it's been a while. And I just, I love verses 12 and 13. You know, as this author of this psalm talks about, you know, the different people that could potentially cause him harm or pain or grief. One of the things that he says he knows the Lord does is taking up the case of the poor, excuse me, and doing what is right for the needy, and that the righteous will give thanks to God's name. And those who do right live in God's presence. I just, I think it's so important for us to, to really focus on and be mindful of the fact that, that God is and always for those who are the poor and the needy, the outcast in our society, and that we those are the ones that we should really pay attention to, and that the people that we should probably not pay attention to are the people that it talks about in the beginning, the people who, uh, as verse 2 says, pick fights every day. Some of those people, maybe because of employment, maybe because of family status, maybe because they go to church with you pick fight with you every day and maybe you can't avoid them but those are are difficult people to deal with and we we just hope that they f- can move past the reason for that and pray for them that they too will come to a place where they they know of God's love and want to spread God's love more than they want to spread uh, the poison that that comes from their lips and that maybe we can be a part of that change And that what we should all do, righteous, those who have difficulties with with saying kind words, all the things that this, this psalm talks about, is that we, like God, should care for the needy and the poor and the outcast and all those who who are the ones that really should be looked after and cared for. So that's what I got out of today's psalm kind of two different things, but I, I think they they hopefully tie together for you, and you saw that. But what did you hear? What did you like? What maybe didn't you like? Write it down, share it with a friend, share it with us, and as always, take care of yourself, stay safe, and God bless.